And first tonight, voters have just one week to decide how they will fill out their ballot. A week from today, Iowans will be making their pick for president and deciding all four of Iowa's congressional seats. KCCI chief political reporter Amanda Rooker has been talking to voters about how they feel going into this last week before the election. Amanda. Well, Stacey, Ben, we went all across central Iowa today, really trying to get a sense from voters about what they care about and how they're feeling. Now, on both sides, voters told me it feels like there's a lot on the line this election, this election really weighing heavily on people with just one week to go. As the wind whistles through the streets of Boone County, it sways the signs that stretch across most sidewalks. The flapping flags and campaign covered street corners signal that election day is almost here. It's disheartening, you know, really what, what our country has come to at this point. You know, I just, I'm, it's sad. Boone voter Mary Kay Calderon says she's voting for Harris because she doesn't want Trump back in office. He's telling you who he is and what he is. And you know, and I just, it's just hard for me to understand how people can fathom and you know go along with that. But Ogden voter Brianna Byerly definitely going for the Trump side sees things differently with everything that's going on. It's kind of sucks with the economy. <laughs> um, it's definitely changed a lot in the last four years. The economy is also driving these West Des Moines voters to the polls. We do not like Kamala Harris because she is not doing correctly what we wanted her to do. So we are voting for Trump. Prices are going up on gas and groceries and rent. The taxes are high. People can't afford it. Waukee voter Jake Zeitz casting his ballot in Adele, but he says he's voting for Harris. I feel that this election um, could maybe make or break, you know, what our progress. Zeitz says he feels his rights are on the ballot. I'm gay myself, so, you know, there's there's a lot going on. My rights, you know, if I, you know, wanted to marry, you know, that's kind of in jeopardy. Um, you know, we're, we're just kind of going backwards. Um, in terms of really everything. In Polk County, Howard Fry agrees this election feels high stakes. I think there's a lot more on the line. The Des Moines voter says his top issues are border security and the cost of living. For a while I thought I was going to sit this one out, but I can't sit it out and I would just encourage everybody, as hard as it is, you got to go out and do your civil duty, civic duty and go vote. So you heard there are a lot of different issues for people and most of the people really disagree with each other pretty passionately on who should be in the White House. But almost overwhelming, overwhelmingly what people do agree on is that they're tired of the polarization. People told me today they're really hopeful that life will feel less divisive after next Tuesday's election. Ben. Yeah, Amanda, uh, thank you. Why it's important to cast your vote so you can get your opinion heard. KCCI is working to get the facts on the voting process and top concerns from election officials. You can watch Commitment 2024. Get the facts right after this newscast. It starts at 630 right here on KCCI.